I am and will always be a dancer to the stars align. And I have the privilege and honor of meeting and studying not only with Mrs. Dunn, but with two of her former dancers. The lessons will be enforced and the training ingrained. For this, I am eternally grateful and will continue to pay it forward. That's her. That's her. You get the flip? Yes. Come on. You take it. Oh, that's wild. Wow. Hard work. I'd like to thank our creative consultant, our lifeblood here in our drama and performing arts program, Dr. Marguerite Mariama. Before we hear the music, can we get the instructions? Okay. 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 Well, it's, it comes from Africa, basically. Yeah. You know that dance. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You do that, but you take the upper body out, and it's just the bottom. Okay. The techniques that I knew and saw and experienced were not saying the things that I wanted to say, but to capture the... Uh, meaning in, in the culture and life of the people, uh, I felt that I had to take something directly from the people and develop that. Catherine Dunham was a true Renaissance woman who helped revolutionize the art of dance performance. She fashioned a type of cultural dance anthropology that led to research in Africa, the Caribbean, and other parts of the world. Her story becomes the context that frames and shapes one of the missing pieces of American historiography, that of the African journey to the shores of the New World. For this, 